And this was Kanye West's Life of Pablo. <laughs> yeah, man, Life of Pablo is just... And, you know, I, I, I kind of got to piggyback on Ace Wonder on this one. Because it, it was tough to be like, I had to find albums that were great. Because typically, if an album is great, right, then the, the album art kind of becomes, I, 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 you know, like, like, like iconography. Yeah. Right. Like if the album is great, we tend to celebrate the album art because we have an association. We associate the greatness of the music and the way it made us feel with the album cover. Right. So I don't want to say that this album is great because it's not a great Kanye no. album. I wouldn't even go as far to say that this is a good Kanye album. No, For me, not. this album is Kanye West cycling through all the different eras of Kanye. There's some stuff on here that feels like college dropout. There's some stuff that feels like late registration and graduation. There's some stuff on here that feels like 808s and heartbreaks. But then there's some shit on here that sounds like Yeezy, the Yeezus album. And there's some stuff on here that sounds like uh, 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 yeah, it just, there's all these different incantations of Kanye on this project. And some of it's good. There's there's some good songs like "No More Parties in L.A." with him yeah. and Kendrick is dope. Uh, the song with him and Rihanna. Um, what's that song called? Uh, famous. Uh, famous. Uh, yeah. yeah, like he's like you know like he's is something something something. I know I'm the best, and I somebody tell Taylor Swift we might still have sex. I made yes. that bitch famous, and at the end of the beat, that shit just switches from like this old hard ass hip hop joint, and it switches to like some fucking reggae shit at the end, like. Yeah. They, like this album has bits and pieces on it where it's like, oh, I can see the the greatness and the genius that is the sociopath narcissist that is Kanye fucking West, yeah. right? But then there's also some shit on here that's trash. There's a song called Feedback, right, where it is literally the sound of feedback with yeah. drums on it. Yeah, trash. Yeah, fucking trash. Yeah. Absolute trash. He had Andre 3000 come to the studio, and 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 while he was in the studio, he just had Andre sing on some stuff. Like you got arguably one of the greatest lyricists of all time in the studio, <laughs> and you had him sing. Like yeah. if I got Andre 3000 in the studio, I'm not asking this man to play flute. I want verses. <laughs> you know, and that's what he did. So it was just. Yeah, like this this album is is, is, is I'm is I'm conflicted because there's stuff on this project that I I love. There's stuff on this project that I don't quite understand, and there's stuff on this project that's ass. But yeah. what's really ass is th this album cover. Cause oh. what even is this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't understand. I've never understood what this is supposed to be. Right. I don't know who this this white lady with this BBL is in the in the, on the, in the bottom of the, uh, the, uh, the album mark. I know Monty could tell us what it is, who, who she is. I'm sure they've dated a few times. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like this album. I've never liked this album cover. I think this album cover is trash. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm uh, I'm in agreement with you. Um, this is this is trash. If uh, like, <laughs> when, 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 when I look at this, when I look at this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what went on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. To me, this looks like they they hired a designer or got some in-house designer or something and said, all right, the album's called Life of Pablo. Uh, start working on the cover. And he started grabbing all the files he thought he, or he or she, started grabbing all the files they thought they needed, mm -hmm. throwing them into a document sized for an album cover and started working. And... Deadline they didn't know about hit. They're like, whatever you got, send it to us now. Well, I'm still working. Just send us that. Because this looks like I'm preparing to design an album cover. Mm -hmm. My and... bet, my bet is that Kanye probably went through like a hundred covers to get this, and then he fought for this one too. Oh, I hope not. So this check this out. I'm, I'm, Wikipedia has a breakdown on the artwork and title. Right, so I want to read. I'm gonna share this with everybody right now. February 11th, 2016, Kanye West revealed the album's artwork designed by Belgian artist Peter De Potter. De Potter's level of fame at the time was not as great as that of artists such as George Kondo and Takashi Murakami, who had previously designed cover art for Kanye West. As De Potter had collaborated with fashion designer 
Rafe Simmons in the past, and Wes had cited him as an influence, there was much speculation that Simmons was the reason the two became involved with each other. The artwork was described as postmodern, a postmodern cover, and it displays the album's title in all caps, as well as featuring a small family photo in the bottom corner. West shared another cover for Life of Pablo on the same date with the phrase, which one on it, which was uh, uh, that was included on the notepad of the final track list and crop and and a cropped photo of British model Shanice Halil that shows her buttocks. This artwork was used for the official release. Kim Kardashian reportedly chose Shanice Halil for the artwork. After this information was revealed, Halil's Instagram popularity increased. Why did they increase that? It, it include that into the story. That that's yeah, not necessary. I don't, I don't know. In response to being selected, Halil said in the interview with the New York uh, Daily News that she couldn't be more flattered and honored uh, that both West by thanking both Kanye West and um, Kim Kardashian. Wow. No. It's, yeah. That. So that didn't tell me nothing. I just want to say that. Well, it sounds like out. it's pretty close to what I said. Yeah, you know what, Zoe, drop one of the opposites of Clue Bombs for this album cover right now. She can't because she's in the bathroom right now. No, I know I'm talking shit because I, I I see her I I see her walking through the house. <laughs> <laughs> also, Zoe be finding a way to just do everything. I don't know how she be running this show. Like she, I, like I, like I'm here and I need to be in the room with her, watching her do this work right now. Because I don't know how the fuck she be doing this shit. <laughs> She's a badass. That's how. Yes, she is. <laughs> Ooh, Dragon in the West says the different incantations of Kanye. I know you meant incarnations, Hannibal. Uh, yeah, yes, I did. Thank you very much. Uh, but the image of Kanye as a wizard is making <laughs> me laugh so hard. Right now. <laughs> I would love it if they did a version of Lord <clears throat> of the Rings where Kanye played Gandalf, but you don't like you give him all the same dialogue, but just let him say it as Kanye. I never understood why. In fantasy movies and TV shows, everybody sounds like they're from the UK or like or like like the UK or like they sound like they're from Ireland or New Zealand or some <laughs> shit like that. How come we can't have a motherfucking wizard that sound like he's from West Memphis? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Give me a wizard trying to say Cuban on Cuban, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yes, in incarnations, not incantations. Yes, yeah, yeah. Incarnations of Kanye West. Thank you very much, Dragon in the West. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vapion so. says, "Listen here, Hannibal. This cover is for people like me that like two things: my family and ass." <laughs> put, put the cover back on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Who, who's, whose family is that? Nobody knows. You yeah. know, just like it, family like and ass, know. right there. We we know more about the girl than we know about the family. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes in life, though? I, I guess so. I mean, yes, I do. I do know a lot about ass, but I don't know anything about the, that family on the album cover. <laughs> well, it's the wedding day. I know that. It is the wedding day. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> not 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 a fan at all. And then it didn't make it. And what makes it worse is that I didn't love this album. Like I liked things about this album. Like up until this point in my career, I had heard like I remember the, like listening to College Dropout. College Dropout is one of my ten favorite albums of all time. Yeah, yeah it is one. It is easily. I don't even have to think about it. It is easily one of my 10 favorite albums of all time it is absolutely my favorite rap album of all time yeah right love college dropout i love the production i love the storytelling i love the writing i love everything about it i love jesus walks i don't even go to church okay love that song that fucking song is great Lo love that project slow jams um I love that. I like like we don't care the intro song. I love the guy pretending to be Bernie Mac in the beginning of this. Like I can sing songs about. I can sing the praises of that album for a very 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 long time. Love college dropout. Love re late registration. Love the first half of graduation. Right. Yeah. Then and it was like and every time I would listen to a Kanye project as a music producer, I would hear stuff that would be like, damn. I gotta go step my game up because I'm listening to what he's doing, and I'm like, "Yep, okay, I hear the levels of 
the the ideas and the spaces where we could be pushing ourselves to be more creative and more free with our production, right? And every Kanye project, I was getting new ideas, right? Even with 808s and Heartbreaks, and I am not a fan of that project. It's not a bad project, but I wasn't a fan of that project. But even here in Love Lockdown, I was like, it's giving me ideas. He's doing stuff that I've never thought about doing before. Yeah. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which... You know, with like there, there's things on it, and then we got to Life of Pablo. This was the first album I heard from Kanye where nothing I heard on this project made me feel like I needed to step my game up as a producer. Wow! All right, there was there was nothing on here that I felt like, damn, I I, I got to go get back in the gym because he's doing some amazing shit. And that isn't to say that there aren't some great things. Like I said, I think that famous joint is super duper duper tough, right? Yeah. You know, and I I think the beat for No More Parties in L. A is very 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 dope there's a joint on the project that uh uh um matter of fact there's a uh, what's that joint that him and the dream got together on there there's a song it's, uh, uh ultra light beam oh yeah it, uh, ultra, uh, yeah, ultra, yeah ultra light beam love that joint like there's father some shit on here my hands is dope too yeah father, father stretch my hand. that's the joint i was thinking about like metro booming uh, i good. think produced yes. uh, that joint and it was like and hearing like metro booming drums with a kanye sample on it hearing like like who is now the hottest trap producer in the game, right? Hearing his drums with Kanye West soul samples and chops on top of it, fucking brilliant. I love that shit. That shit was great. But yeah. at the same time, I was like, but we we got joints like this stuff. <laughs> yeah, we 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 got these shits in the pocket already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shit. Yeah, well, yeah, I this was is... really wanted to w wanted to like this album. This was this was when I knew like I had like this, the writing had been on the wall for a while, but this is when I really was like, oh no, this man lost his this this you people lost his motherfucking mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh you can judge a book by by its cover situation. Yeah, yeah, you can absolutely judge the cover. You can actually you can judge the book by it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this this was the beginning of him becoming a black conservative. This is what that is. We didn't know it, but we knew it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, there it is. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.